Within this lesson, we will fluently multiply multi-digit whole numbers using the standard algorithm to solve multi-step word problems. Here is the first problem. Take a moment to read it together with me. An office space in New York City measures 48 feet by 56 feet. If it sells for $565 per square foot, what is the total cost of this office space? Reread the problem again. What can we draw? Can we draw the office space? Measures 48 feet by 56 feet. Area equals length times width. Which equals 56 times 48. Let's work that out. Eight times six is 48. Eight, regroup of four. Eight times five is 40, plus four is 44. Place the zero. Four times six is 24. Four, regroup of two. And 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. And then I can go ahead and add those two together. Two thousand six hundred eighty-eight square feet. Now what I need to do still is that it's $565 per square foot. So I need to take 2,688 and multiply it by 565. Make sure to do that to complete your problem. Here is the next problem. Let's read it together. Gemma and Leah are both jewelry makers. Gemma made 106 beaded necklaces. Leah made 39 more necklaces than Gemma. Okay, so I have some information so far. Each necklace they make has exactly 104 beads on it. How many beads did both girls use all together while making their necklaces? What do we know? We know that Gemma made 106 beaded necklaces. So if we use a bar model, Gemma makes 106. Leah makes more or less, more, and it says 39 more. So here's 106, and then she makes actually 39 more. So 106 plus 39, 5, 1, she makes 145. Make sure to write that out. Together, they make how many? One forty five plus one oh six is one one five two hundred fifty one necklaces. And then it says each necklace has a hundred four beads on it. So you're gonna take the numbers two hundred fifty one and do what? Multiply it by one hundred four. Pause the video while you do your work there. Let's work it out. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Place a 0. Place two zeros. And then 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. And then I will add those together. So the answer is 26,104 beads altogether. Here's another problem. At a recent craft fair, Gemma sold her necklaces for $14. Leah sold her necklaces for $10 more. $10 more, Leah sold hers for how much then? Right, $10 more than $14 would be $24. Remembers Leah's from the previous problem? She had 145 necklaces. And 
Gemma had 106 necklaces. So Gemma's was 106 times 14. Leah's is 145 times 24. And then you'll be able to see who made more and how much more would be where it is that you would compare those by subtracting the amounts. Work it out. Show me standard algorithm. 4 times 6 is 24. 4, regroup a 2. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 4 times 1 is 4. Place a 0. 6, 0, 1. Adding that together, we would get Gemma's amount, which is $1,484. Leah is $24 times 145. I'll rearrange those numbers slightly. She, she should make more. Um, let's see. 4 times 5 is 20. 0. Regroup a 2. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 2 is 18. 8. Regroup a 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Place a 0. 2 times 5 is 10. 0, regroup of 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And 2 times 1 is 2. Add those together. $3,480. So Leah makes $3,480. Gemma makes $1,484. When we were asked how much more, we take $3,480 and subtract $1,484 and we would get the amount that they made that was more. Read the problem first. Peng bought 26 treadmills for her new fitness center at $1,334 each. She then bought 19 stationary bikes for $749 each. How much did she spend on her new equipment? It says to write an expression and then solve. So it's basically telling you to show your work. For the treadmills, it says she bought 26 of them. So there's one treadmill, there's another treadmill, there's another treadmill, all the way up to 26 treadmills at $1,334 each. for treadmills. So $1,334 times 26. So that's the amount for the treadmills. Now for the stationary bikes, there's 19 of them at $749 each. So we would take $749 and multiply it by what? Do you know? Did you say 19? There are your two expressions with tape diagrams to be able to solve this problem. The total amount that she ends up spending is going to be this two here combined to be able to add them together. So we take 1,334, multiply it by 26, and we add that together to $749 times 19.